at a roadside meeting in Bungoma concerning the alleged cartels frustrating the sugar industry. It is quite disturbing to hear that a whole president threatening investors in Kenya by claiming that they be arrested, deported or taken to heaven. What message is the president sending to investors who are not explicitly supporting him? Does it mean that if your political views differ with the president, then you risk falling short of this wrath, of his wrath? For example, your business being labeled as cartel or living in fear causes your life, cause your life is being threatened. We as Azimio condemn such utterances made by the president. Since this is a democratic country governed by the rule of law and the ripple's effect of such sentiments cannot be overstated. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 under Article 27 demands that every person has the right to life and the president being the chief of the armed forces has a duty to preserve and protect each and every one. Mr. Janswant Rai is a human being whose life deserves to be protected at all costs, just like any other person living in Kenya. The president was out of line in stating that Mr. Rai be taken to heaven. And we all know what that means. Mr. Rai's family has had a long history of investments in Kenya, in edible oils, sugar, and other products. It has extended its dominance in the sugar sector, thus President terming him as a cartel. The President said verbatim, and I quote, Msikue na wasiwasi, niko hapo chonjo kabisa. Nitahakikisha hii kitu inakaa chonjo. Na wakora wote wako katikati. Msikue na wasiwasi, eti kuna mtu atakuja kutuongelesha kiingereza. Sijui muhindi fulani. Sijui ni nani. Sijui mwingine ananiambia rai rai nani hapana hiyo haiwezekani article 40 of our constitution stipulates that every person has the right either individually or in association with others to acquire own property of any description and in any part of Kenya by virtue of this article Mr. Rai has the right to own and run businesses while enjoying the said right. Even though Mr. Rai is being accused of frustrating the revival of sugar industry, there are better ways to address this other than the president of a democratic country issuing callous threats by the roadside. In recent years, sugar production has declined considerably. And we as ASMIO members acknowledge the need to revive state-owned sugar companies for the benefit of Wananchi. The once thriving industry, a cornerstone of our economy and a source of sustenance for many now lies in ruins. We will await proposal in Parliament that will revive a once proud industry and restore hope and improve the, lives, the livelihoods of the many sugarcane farmers in the western region.